Yeah, Banfi, who was a Canadian national, played collegiately at Spring Arbor University. He had 20 clean sheets there. With a stellar college career, he's shown that he can handle that jump in level. He's got more pace than I realized. What a move, Arushu! Arushu! Good save, Banfi. Doing, just plant so many seeds. Here is a chance and a kick save by Banfi on a checked off. Really nice to see Brad Kazania. Good save, Banfi. We're in a chance for Mateus now for Atlanta United. Oh, what a save! Ambrose now for Atlanta United. And Banfi has to block that out for a corner. Going. John was there, but Banfi, who's had great command of his area all day, tries to spring. Particular. And, and they play slowly, and if you allow them to, to dictate tempo and those kind of things, you're going you're gonna to be in for a long day. So you've got to find ways to got to do off the ball. He's involved in creating the opportunity. SL last year, they won the Southeast Conference, so this is a good test for Atlanta United, a good team that they're playing today. For Atlanta United with Tyler Wolf to Goopman. Banfi the save. Arruja, I'd love to hear your thoughts. As Arruja puts that in for Josetu, Banfi the save. Was that counter press? The ball turns over immediately, switch on to defense. And I would say this last year because of COVID, and you have to be a little bit. Uh, oh, blue you. Nearly. Well, you almost got a brace. <laughs> that point was critical for Atlanta United. Mateus Cross. Smotherly switch on to defense. And Araujo does there, nearly creates a turnover. Really successful career because it speaks volumes for our academy as well. I have to think from a player recruitment standpoint, a success story like that. Big switch from Franco Ibarra, a, a player. At the formations alone, um, the the uh, Georgia Revolution are, are numbers down a little bit in the midfield and have, have forced for Araujo at the top of the 18. Araujo, well handled by Banfi. Might have taken a deflection. Atlanta United's third shot of the match, Georgia Revolution with one. They'll play two 45-minute halves today when Atlanta United played Tuesday against that. Atlanta United won 2-0. They played shorter halves. Two sides now, last year, pretty exclusively, we saw overlapping runs from the outside backs. Aiden McFadden likes to crash inside. We've seen Adaruju out wide. Now we're seeing the same on the left. Tyler Wolf stretching the field out to the touchline. Five. Wolf. Banfi may have gotten a little bit of a touch. And with the quality of players that you can get here locally and all over the region, you can play at that kind of speed. Absolutely. And, you know, substitution rules at the collegiate level allows that to yep. continue to go. But, um, you know, we, we also look at it in a situation where there are you know, especially on this side of the country, you got Florida State, North Carolina as the two programs that have probably been the most consistent in the past few years, Florida, Florida State in particular, and and they play slowly. And if you allow them to, to dictate tempo and those kind of things, you're gonna you're gonna be in for a long day. So you've got to. Bros, and then the swinging volley is missed on by Bloyu and put over the net finally by Mertz. I think Bloyu might have gotten part of it. It might have been blocked or deflected. Mertz almost jumped on the rebound. Good cross in from Ambrose, a player that we know really well. We've seen over the years. His service with his left foot, always exquisite. Wow. Really nice. Ball, good defensively. But when he gets the ball at his feet in the final third, he's a really nice playmaker. Well, uh, the preseason continues down in Mexico, and I think that's going to be a really great opportunity for... for Atlanta United. And that deflects off Rios. Passes on the ball. He has to be more progressive today. Yeah, this is a mix of the Revolution team that you'll see in the summer in the NPSL. 